Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix. None. No simping. All subjects channel. So, I told y'all I want to get in a little bit into this oppression. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I said yesterday. That I believe that black people oppress each other more then white people will ever be able to oppress us by uh, how we fight against each other. Robbing each other, shooting each other. You see what happened to Takeoff. Everybody say Takeoff was a good dude, like in terms of he kept to himself, he mind his own business, so on and so forth. And look what they did to him. Did a white person do that? Uh, of course not. See, you have to worry about them when you start uniting too much. See, right now, you don't have to worry about them, which says a lot about us. They'll watch people who they think might try to organize us because you got the higher ups that are a little bit insecure and they're a little bit worried about us organizing. So they create whole groups that could be stopping crime that are more created to watch people like me and make sure that I don't become some charismatic leader or some stuff. But, hey man, it's whatever the most high want. And they also handsomely pay individuals to keep us down fake lawyers, fake judges, fake rappers, fake everything. So you will look up to them instead of standing together. I'm going to make a couple videos about this. Uh, this is just like, I like to give you a little outline of what I'm getting ready to talk about. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of it right now. Ways that white people contribute to the oppression of black America. Because they can't do it per se. They can only contribute to it. The first way, denying meaningful employment. It could be and you can't, hey, listen, y'all, white folk, listen, listen, listen. If this ain't you, if you are not this way, we're not talking about you. Only the hit dogs going to holler. Not giving meaningful employment. What do I mean by this? The guy is qualified, has a good interview, and because he's black, you don't give him the job. I'm one of the greatest interviews of interview, interviewers of all time. But yet, on many occasions, I could tell by the body line, oh, they ain't gonna hire me. Just like how many, the body language of the, the white people that interviewed me that, that wasn't racist, I'm like, oh yeah, I got a chance. Like the fake Christian dude at that, that company, the carpet cleaning company here in Wisconsin, fake phony dude. I still remember you did that, man. You know, fake phony dude, man. I could have, he could have made it easier to keep one of my houses. But he was looking at how I was black and he didn't have nobody black working for him. But I thank you, man, because you woke me up with that Christian stuff. You woke me up and showed me that all these people claiming that ain't that. Because I used to be the type that gave everybody the benefit of the doubt. Now I don't give nobody. My attitude is prove it. You saying you this, that, prove it. Prove it with what you do. I ain't trying to hear nobody. I don't care how many members you got. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care where you live. Prove it. Because I know the most high. And I know the most high ain't with every, every rich person. That's why he said it's hard for them to come to the kingdom. He not with them like that. Because a lot of them act like they don't need them. But I'm telling you, rich people, if you watch this... He's fair. You humble yourself, he'll be there for you. 
He'll reverse anything you need reverse. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I want to see y'all in heaven. But the brainwashing is real. So, denying meaningful employment is the first thing. The second thing is related to that, giving people extra hard time on the job. You, you one of them people that you know you can't whoop them, but you messing with them, and he know that he'll go to jail or something bad will happen if he go there with you, so he just quits. And when he quits, and I know because it's happened to me a couple times. I used to work at this little racist printing press company, and you either had to be a mute mouse of a man or they gonna run you out of there before they ran me out of there I just quit like man I'm not finna work here I've been to punch one of these dudes out and they all all of the white people was hanging with each other off the job so anytime you have words with one of them they all get together and now all of them is, is doing little stuff to pick which and the black people was just sitting around, even though they had a union, doing nothing. And one of them was related to the, uh, the wife. He was her uncle. And it's like every time I see him, I just think about that like, dude, you not cool, man. You let them people get on to me like that and you have been there for years. I don't even deal with them like that. I don't, I'm not the type to be mean with people but how he let them people do me and I really that, was, that wasn't a bad job it's just it was super busy at the time and what do jobs do when things go wrong blame the new people so we gonna come back though I'm just giving you a brief overview and a brief outline of what we gonna be talking about with this so stay tuned this is the truth man the channel is the no matrix no simping all subjects channel